Hello everyone, back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use this proxy service module right here. Because as you may know, the current proxy that we've been using for my past videos is currently down. And it hasn't gone back up yet. But this one is actually more efficient and a lot easier. So I'm going to show you how to use it. All it is is just a module that you put in. And then create a proxy with it. And then you could just do post, pull, get, stuff like that. As you would with normal HTTP service. So if you go to this link in the description... You can't go straight down to deploy to Heroku or else it'll error. Um, so instead you have to fork it. So to do that, all you have to do is just go up to the top right, click fork. And then um, once once you have a fork, like it'll say you to create a fork, right? And then, uh, yeah, just go to your fork after you create it. And then it'll look like this, show your name slash proxy service. Now, your URL up here, you want to copy this right here. And then you want to go to the README, open that in a new tab, and then go to Edit. And then down where it says um, Deploy, uh, it, it would show the dudes, like the original dudes, GitHub thing right here, but you just want to put yours. Um, so just put your URL right there. Uh, I copied, that's not the right one, but just do github.com slash your name slash proxy service. And then just go down commit changes. And then after you do that, uh, go back to your fork and then you can go to deploy to Roku like that. And then just type a name. So let's do proxy service tutorial vid uh ignore all this down here and just click deploy app and then give it like maybe a minute and let it deploy okay now after it's deployed you want to go ahead and click manage app and then go over to um settings and then we'll we'll come back here in a second so once you go back to your uh, github page down here uh it says get the handler script from here click that and then it'll send you here. Just click raw and then copy all that. And then go into Roblox Studio, create a module script and server script service. Just name this proxy service and then paste it right there. And this is your proxy service module. Now create a server script and this is gonna be your script, uh, you know, for sending webhooks. It doesn't just have to be one script, but I'm just, just for the tutorial. So let's define some stuff. So local HTTP service because game get service HTTP service local URL equals and then let me just put my Discord URL right here. Let me get it. Uh, okay. So put your URL right there. Now we want to do. Now we want to actually create the proxy. So we have to define the module first. So local proxy service equals require script or er, game dot replicated storage dot not replicate storage game dot server storage not server storage game dot server script service that proxy service and then proxy service dot colon new with a capital n and then we want to put uh you want to go back to your heroku thing right here and up here where it says your app can be found at copy that url Paste it as the first variable or argument. And then the second one, you want to go back to Roku and you want to go to reveal config vars and settings. And then where it says access key, you want to copy that and then paste your access key right there. Now, after that's done, you can just do proxy service post URL and then we have to create the content stuff first. So we'll just do um, local content equals, not local content, local data equals, and then content equals test. And then local final data equals HTTP service, JSON encode, 
data. And then where it says proxy service post, there's URL, comma, final data. And then once you um, go ahead and play test right here, you can see it sends in the Discord server right here, test the message. And you don't need to use any, you don't need to replace anything in the URL. Um, I'm going to update my um, current module, my webhook service module to use um, this. So all you'll have to do is just, um, you know, put your access key and stuff. I make a separate video on that, but this is just a quick tutorial on how to use this. So yeah, if this video helped, you can join my Discord server link in the description below to get help with anything else you need. And yeah.